In this video, I'm going to update credit from 5.2.0 to 5.2.2 uh, because there are some improvements that I want to begin to access. Here's a little animation I did using uh, the 5.2.0 version. Now, one problem I had before was uh, when I updated on the Linux machine, it didn't bring in my custom brushes and I had to manually import them as a bundle. And it was a bit of a pain to be honest because I have various customizations. I don't want to have to rebuild. Um, for some reason, like I'm not seeing my uh, custom brush preset here. I think I need to, there we go, expand this maybe. There we go. So uh, I have, these are my different animation brushes. I have this tag here, which has a very concise set of brushes because I don't like to have to wade through uh, a gazillion different um, brush types. Right, there's other things too I have in here. I have workspaces, uh, let's see here, workspace. And I should have a custom one called derm slash underscore animation. And I want to see if that comes in as well. So first of all, I'm not going to do anything. I'm simply going to do a basic update. Let me close this. And here's the installer. If you're wondering where to get the installer from, uh, it is here, krita.org. And then you have your download link. And then you can install depending on what version you want. In this case, it's giving me the Windows installer. So I'll go with that. This is 5.2.3 beta. So this is, uh, let's see here. That's, uh, so we run anyway. So I'm just going to let it do its thing by default and hopefully it will behave, overwrite or uh, import my original settings. If not, I have them backed up here and we'll see if it works or not. And I'll show you too how to back them up because it's good to be able to back them up in case you have to wipe your computer and do a reinstall. So here we go, next, accept, next. And this should be the same folder that I already have it in. Let's check, C, program files. Problem here is I've actually used a custom install path and I think I've been putting my stuff in here. So that's where it should go. So this is the folder that we wanted to go into. So let's put that in here. So removing previous version, I assume this means beta, 5.2.3. If you're doing this and you want something more stable, the 5.2.2 might be your safest bet. Fingers crossed. Uh, <laughs> victory, it did it. Uh, that's great. So I don't know why my uh, Linux machine uh, uh, did the update and wiped my preferences. So uh, I am not unhappy about that, but to do a manual backup, I'll show you how. So um, let's see where I can find the install location. So um, on the Windows machine, uh, if you're on a Mac, I'm afraid you're on your own, but if you're on a Windows machine, you'll have some, well, on Mac, you'll have something similar. It'll be a preps folder and it'll have all your preferences saved in there. So just to have the, the backup, let me refine that. C, users, and there may be a hidden folder app data. So I'm under Dermo app data. It's grayed out. Uh, if you don't see it, it'll be under view or home. You can change the uh, folder preferences. I won't get into that. You can do a search for how to unhide that. I think it's under roaming, Krita, and that's the preferences folder. So let me, uh, so that's my path. Your path will be under whatever username you've signed in under. It'll look something like this. If you're working, watching this like five years from now, maybe they put it in a different folder. But anyway, so I took this folder, copied it to my desktop. I actually use a, a free, I, I hate Dropbox, but I do use the two gig free service for saving stuff like this. So I zip that roaming credit file, it's about 200 megs, and save that to a Dropbox file so that I can very easily access it if my machine gets wiped by mistake or the hard drive dies. All of my custom brushes are in there. Right, to lose them, I spent so much time, about a week, setting these blasted things up. So uh, I obviously don't want to lose that. So that's a good backup. I do the same thing with Photoshop. Again, Dropbox, free service on the Parasite. Um, I have all of my settings, brushes, customs in there so that, God forbid, something awful happens with my machine, I'm still able to work with it. So anyway, uh, I'm currently up to the beta. It seems to be playing fine. Check the workspace. I'm still here. So it found all of my preps and brought them back in. This is fantastic. So again, very different experience than what I had when I went to this with my Linux machine, where I again had to manually rebuild my keyboard shortcuts and my preferences. 
it kind of frightens me about updating it on that but maybe i'll try that in a different video sometime this is a relief but do i suggest if you have spent any amount of time backing up your your preferences file be sure to and you see here i have my linux preferences file also uh, save too. I found that on the Linux box. So if I do have to manually restore it from Linux now, I can do that too. That's also on my Dropbox. And again, the folder path where all this will be saved will be in here. Uh, it's so it's just a madness to not actually keep that uh, securely stored somewhere, simply because this looks like nothing, right? These brushes look like a big pile of of zero, but uh, they're kind of crucial very strange sometimes the way this windows panel look at this it's not it's not acting nice is it so this could be uh this could be a beta glitch the other thing i guess i could do would be maybe see if a workspace reset would would fix it let's try that actually workspace big paint where's the brushes here they are now it's working so I guess I can work with this and rebuild my original uh, setting. So settings, dockers, where's my timeline? Animation timeline. Uh, I have my brush presets. That is so strange, right? Like I'm not, I'm not losing them, am I? So, um, okay, I will workspace, new workspace. So at least that gets me uh, somewhere near to where I was before. And my old workspace was this one. Ah, okay, there's my old one, which is better because that's more like what I was used to. So that's great, that's fixed. So basically a workspace reset. Uh, things seem, fingers crossed for now, to be fixed. What I'm going to do in the next movie is show you how to animate a simple scene using this head turn, right? And it's just how to do like a secondary action and a primary action. Primary action is the head, secondary action or drag is hair, clothing and such. So uh, I'll do that in the next movie. For now, this is enough to be getting on with. So if you have issues updating and you have problems with your workspace, you'll probably hit the same landmine that I just stepped on. And hopefully that fix will work for you. Again, if you wanna try the 5.2.3 beta, and I'll see if I can see if there's any other things that are broken or better. Okay, cheers, see you next time, bye. I don't have a sponsor, so if you want to support my work and help it to continue, you can subscribe to my Patreon. I'm making new animation projects week by week and providing animation assets that can be downloaded and used. I also have a very large collection of tutorials in the LinkedIn Learning Library covering animation and design, and I'm putting all the links to these in the notes below.